Guten Morgen! I can't believe you've been a professional traveler, ski racer, skier, freestyler, whatever, and you still travel with plastic bags. Yeah, but I had the box. Unprofessional. The, I had the box for the bindings break. So now I'm taking the last resort. So you can see outside, it's kind of snowing hard. So we are going to go over to the head factory um, for a couple hours, mount some skis, make some boots, and hopefully wait for the weather to give us some skiable conditions. Luckily, we have Mr. Hans with Mr. Ski Team Sweden Alpine giving us a ride. Since my cars are being rebuilt and all this stuff, so. we're going to go to head. I got my race skis wet. That's the beauty this? about freestyle skis. It's much easier to take care of than race style. Okay, we go. I see you're still dreaming about being a ski racer. <laughs> huh? I see you're dreaming about being a ski racer. Yes. Because now I can dream about this. I know, yeah. So I can dream that I dream is champion. so much easier than doing it. I just saw a scale here. Hans, <laughs> where, where are you at? I would say over 104 maybe. I'm at 85, clothing on. So I guess it'll be a bit more solid for me. Solid, solid 105. Yeah, but with the liners and everything, I guess I'm like <laughs> maybe 95 or no? Because I kind of lost some weight. Kind of look thin. Pretty good looking. supposed to be great. Huh? I think it's supposed to be painful, right? Yeah, no, huh? No, <laughs> no that's, 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 that's because your feet aren't right. Hey, no. Hans, you and your feet, my feet this, are perfect. This boot you have never no? no? This one. No, but always when I found before, it hurt quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it's tight, like if you have them buckled for a long time, but it's, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. And that makes big of a difference in freestyle, or? Well, I mean, back in the day, I used to have like... I know, yeah. I would have boots this big because it was like the sample size and I wanted the new color. Yeah. So I didn't care. Uh -huh. But now after <laughs> racing, I realized that maybe I should be on top of my game with yeah. my material. So now I feel G. And how is the train? Well, I went skiing one day so far uh, and it was great. I hit the, uh, the kids' kickers that were two meters big. Okay. So I started there and the knee felt good. So now we're just waiting for weather. Yeah. to maybe hit the 4 meter jumps. So then hopefully by Christmas I'm at the 8 meter jumps. So I think this might be the world's fastest keyboard right now. Because I'm going to win everything this year. You know what? There's only one way to prove it. Hans says he's going to win Lake Louise. And then he's going to get naked in the finish area. Oh yeah. If I go into the lead I'm going to get naked. Sure. I'm going to... Sure. Uh, let's pray that Mr. Hollis is winning by please. So today it's been exactly seven years ago since we recorded the first video blog here in Zurich at the Freestyle CH. This time I'm only here as a spectator and it's kind of nice to not be nervous, although... And I just looked at the ceiling and realized that I'm just jumping. So um, next year, you know, there's going to be a really old guy here, but... You know, I figured it'd be a nice time to announce it here that I'm not going to pull you back to freestyle.